First of all, uh, on the offensive side, uh, it's good to see the ball go out of the ballpark. Uh, four guys uh, with home runs. Um, Cody Ashy continues to swing a hot bat. Um, and uh, Cliff Lee, uh, with his 116 pitches, um, got off to a little bit of a slow start in the first inning with velocity, but uh, but picked it up and uh, and was uh, was solid, very uh, very well uh, competing out there and, and mixed his pitches and uh, the bullpen was good. Friday night, Friday night, uh, tied for 14th in the league in homers. Do you see this as being a lineup with more power potential than, than it's shown in the first 40 games? Uh, potentially, maybe with some a little bit uh, warmer weather might have something to do with it, um, but uh, the potential up and down the lineup um, uh, with guys uh, hopefully getting hot and, uh, and that continues. You said, you said Friday that you thought it was right around the corner to home runs. Did you see something that... that uh... I had my fingers crossed, uh, first of all, <laughs> and I, th I thought we were due, uh, actually. But uh, it's uh, it's good to see us uh, come alive the last couple of games, and uh, and I think today's game was a was a momentum game and a build game on on yesterday, especially getting down two to nothing after the first, came right back, back to back homers, top of the order, and so um, I think it was a carryover game on the offensive side. So that hopefully it's something we can continue. Do you put any correlation between Ashy's horrific Tuesday night and what's happened over the weekend in terms of his offense? Did, did you connect that, like, you know, a guy gets ticked off and does that work in baseball or do you think those are uh, Well, uh, once a guy gets hot, uh, first of all, he can uh, he can get hot and get over the hump and stay hot and uh, they can r rub off on uh, the other players and carry over. And uh, um, those games that he had created a positive effect on uh, very timely and a positive effect on the lineup. I think it gave us a spark. How have you liked the look of this lineup with Jimmy at the top and your catcher spotted too? Uh, it seems to be working now. That's why I had uh, Navis in the second spot, just to keep a little continuity there and not break it up too much. And, uh, and Will does a good job swinging the bat. Uh, he's a situational guy, can uh, can use the whole field, so it was to keep a little bit of consistency there. Uh, I like Jimmy in the leadoff spot. He's Right now, he has a real good approach up there as far as uh, hitting for average, and uh, he looks just real patient to work in the pitchers and, and taking walks. Is that something you think you may stick with for a while? Uh, we'll see. Was Revere available to you today? And Revere was available in a uh, in a pinch run, a bunt, and possibly an at bat type of a situation. He's he's uh, he's over the hump as far as uh, being sick, so I anticipate him uh, being ready to go on Tuesday. How do you foresee center field going forward? And, and if, he, if those players have to bat eighth or seventh, is that something that you'll kind of uh, That's just something to think about. And I think there's options there. Um, uh, there could be a uh, situation depending on who's pitching uh, that day. So there's there's options to think about. Is Adam supposed to be in what he, his potential is being? I mean, he pitched well for you today. Yeah, he's pitching well. He's pitching well. It's just a matter of uh, just continue to watch him and uh, help him along and, and build him up a little bit. But he continues to uh, to bounce back good and and uh, continue down that path. But he's throwing the ball very well. You've been saying all season that you like to see the team score early, score in the middle, and score late. Is this kind of you feel like it's getting to that point now? The way you guys have been hitting the last couple of days. The last couple of days, uh, yeah, and that shows the potential of the lineup that we have up and down, up and down, the, up and down the lineup uh, with balance. Um, I thought we did a nice job against a, a left-hander that can be tricky and, and tough. Uh, bouncing back the way that we did in the in the bottom of the first was big. Uh, he's a guy that has deception, uh, throws out of his uh, shirt sleeve. Uh, he's he's a little bit funky out there. So, um, right-handed bats came into play early, early on in the game, and then uh, the left-handed bats uh, also had some good at bats off him. I know down in the first inning, what's what's the correct play there? Is Howard to take the ball and run toward Hamilton, or, or how does how does that seem to come? On the rundown? Yeah. Um, yeah, a speedster on third base with no outs. Uh, you'd be a little bit surprised if he would actually try and score there. And, uh, and maybe uh, and at that point, there's got to be an out somewhere. Um, 
maybe Jimmy hang on to the ball a little bit longer, uh, running back. Uh, but fundamentally, that didn't work out. What, what have you thought? You guys have another off day coming up tomorrow. It feels like, it feels like you barely play four straight games. Yeah. What have you thought about that? Yeah, strange. Strange schedule. Um, and now I think we have a, a run of about 52 out of 54, or something like that. So, you know, the way, with the way we're playing right now and then swinging the bats, uh, you know, some of these off days have come on those, on those days. So it's, yeah, it's been real, built, real choppy, a little bit hard to get into a rhythm. Um, but um, bouncing back and, uh, and winning this series uh, after the way that things were going there for a few days uh, was big, big for the guys. On the flip side, it seems like that it, it enables you to lean on relievers more often um, just because you have some yeah, that, yeah, that's been the case as far as the way the starting pitching's gone and uh, using the relievers and giving their breaks. But uh, now that's uh, that's about to change with a, a long string of games. So uh, it'll be up to the relievers. Uh, everybody be ready to go. Everybody do their job, and uh, everybody will get some action out of the bullpen. Who do you think Eshi's barehanded? He's he's made a couple of them back to back games. So he's he's that's uh, those are good plays. Um, Actually, I had, had a thought that the, the pitcher would try and drag bunt there, so we had, to, had him in, actually. Otherwise, uh, that would have been trouble. But uh, yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's making that play very well.